Okay, so we're all fitted, uh, nice and easy. There's the power cable and it just goes back there. It goes underneath the trim, down the side, down the other side, underneath there and back to this. So nice and easy to put the power in. And I'm going to take you through the menu. Uh, a little bit difficult because I'm filming at the same time. But basically, this is the, uh, this is the video menu. Um, if I press, if I press this, it'll take us through different things. So that's the camera menu, and not the menu, the screen, and that's the playback screen. So playback and video screen and camera screen. Now, whichever one you're in, so let's go to the camera screen. If you then go up to this button here uh, and into that, that takes you into all the options. If you press it again, it takes you through to, um, so one of them is about taking video and the other one is about setting it up. So setting the date and time and everything. So let's just put it back. Oops, there is it. Right, these are up and down keys. Yeah, those two there. And if we cycle through them, so your resolution, that's nice and easy, that's your quality of your video. Loop recording, when it fills up the SD card or the micro SD card, I should say, then it just carries on recording over the oldest one. HDR, I think that's the quality again, and the exposure is the quality. Motion detection, I always have that on uh, because basically it starts recording when there's any motion, so it just takes away your thinking. Record audio, I always have that on as well. Uh, the date stamp, yep, if something happens, I want to know where and when it happened, not where, but when it happened, what time it happened, what date it happened. Gravity sensing, if there's an accident, it locks that video and plate number. You can put your number plate onto it as well as the date stamp, which is a, a good thing. So if you come out of that, then you can go into, uh, where are we? Let's change it to the camera. There we go. And again, I can take a picture if I want just by pressing that. There we go. I just took a picture, date and stamped everything. This is, I've had a couple of uh, dash cams. That's by far the easiest one, or this is by far the easiest one that I've, I've ever had to take a picture. Um, and you can go into the menu again, capture mode. Let's just go down and have a look at it for you. So we'll go down and okay so single um every on a two second timer a five second timer or a 10 second timer and let's go back out so resolution speaks for itself which is the quality of the picture so there you go a five megapixel is what i've got it on you can have it on 12 megapixel um it's just a really straightforward camera to operate the, there's enough buttons on here so that you can actually um, operate it up and down, select and all the rest without getting lost when you're doing it. It takes a few minutes to, to actually get used to what you're doing, but once you are used to it, once you are used to it, it's really easy to set up. So I'm going to put some video of, uh, of what I've got while I've been on the road as well, but a really, really nice dash cam. I'll just pull out so that you can see that it's, uh, oops, there, so we can get it focused so that you can see that it's not um, intrusive. And this is the view from the driver's seat, so you don't even see it, so it doesn't take your mind off things, which is great. You can, just one thing, you can actually manually set it driving. So if I, if I come out of here uh, and take it to video, right, so this is, this is what it would be like when I get in the car. I can manually start recording simply by pressing OK. And you can see that the video record comes on there and it tells you how long it's been done. Oops, it just keeps blurring. Sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, OK. So, good. You are in 
traffic, um, not in traffic, if you're ever in roadworks, which I am at the moment, obviously it's a great thing to have. I originally got one of these because I was watching a program on um, insurance cheats and people like that and um, what was happening was they, a, an elderly lady, probably 60 odd, was in a car going down um, a street that had terrace houses on either side and uh, as she came to the T-junction towards the end of the street uh, from out behind a parked car a young lad pushed um, a scooter towards the T-junction and as she slowed down with him in front of her he was stood up, he wasn't He wasn't on it, he was actually pushing it he pulled it back and rammed it into the front of her car as if she'd hit him from behind and then he dropped the bike and he fell onto the floor and just as he did that miraculously another young lad probably the same age as him said oh I saw everything and pulled out a camera and started recording she jumped out of the car obviously worried for the lad and saying, oh, oh, what's happening, what's happening? It's all on camera, it's all on camera. And as soon as they heard that it's all on camera, they looked in the um, they looked in the windscreen, saw the camera, got up, picked the bike up, and the pair of them ran off. So they're absolutely, there's, there's hundreds of them out there. They're all scrolls, and basically you need a camera.